Hey guys, welcome. My name is Don McStraw and I'm a conditioning and performance coach here at the McStraw Method where we teach our clients about what we call the daily 2%. So the daily 2%, we'll talk a little bit more about that later on. But first, thank you for landing on this little tiny page and thank you for listening in to this video. Okay, so this is day number one as far as I'm concerned about the challenge that we're offering you the opportunity to become part of, but this is not going to be any normal challenge. So please don't expect me to give you a quick fix. Don't expect us to give you the hack. Don't expect the seven day shred, the 14 day whatever, or the 28 day transformation, because I'm going to call bullshit. That stuff doesn't work. Never mind the fact that I don't know you, you don't know me. So why would you want to listen to me and why would I want to give you a solution to a problem that I don't even know that you may or may not have? Okay, so before we go any further, a little cautionary warning. I am going to swear. Uh, I'm not swearing like a trooper. So if you don't like the F word, the shit word, the bloody or whatever, then you've got a choice right now. I'd either maybe like you to stay on and listen in or... It's pretty simple. Just click, delete, move onto the page, and I'll let you go. So five, four, three, two, one. Okay. If you're still here, great. Just it, look. It's part of me. I'm not going to be a fake me. I'm going to be a real me. So the whole idea of this is I want to walk you through what I do, how I see it, where the state of play is, and let's go. We're just going to start talking facts. No bullshit, facts, what happens, how it happened, where it happened, what you've been in the past, and only then can we actually start to talk about what a solution may look like. Okay, so no pills, no potions, no freaking magic lotions, no skinny teas, that shit doesn't work. If you're going to follow the InstaFit people and believe that BS, Congratulations to you, but the reality is you're going to fail again, and you're probably here because you've failed multiple times. Hey, we all have. I'm now at 50, and in my late 30s onwards, I failed multiple times. So what we need to do is work out why the hell have we failed. So if that's okay with you, let's cut to the chase. The fitness and the wellness industry, they are pulling the wool over your eyes. I'm going to call bullshit on them. They're not actually here as a general rule to help you. It's the latest iteration. It's the latest supplement. It's version 2.0. I mean, if version 1 was working, why the fuck have we got a version 2.0? It's the next thing. It's got that in. It's the keto. It's the paleo. It's intermittent fasting. It's all of this shit. I mean, no wonder. You, me, your mum, your dad, your brother, your sister, your best mate, your workmate. No wonder people are going over and over and over again. So, I mean, I was the same. It's the shiny object syndrome. That alone is one of the main reasons why we continue to fail. But the biggest part of that is we've got to accept the fact that that is the fact and we've got to own that. So, we talk about end game. So, Getting a solution and a program and a pathway forward, it's pointless talking about that then until we actually know where you are today. Not yesterday, not what you did two months ago, or not what you tried a year ago, you did that gym, da da da. I want to know where you are today. So let's draw a line in the sand. We need to do what I'm going to affectionately say is an audit. It's the only way moving forward that we're going to work out how best you can achieve what you want down the end. So there's a couple of crucial things. There's the training element, and that's the moving stuff. Um, but I'm more interested in, in other stuff as well too. So it's like, why do you overeat? Why do you binge eat? Why do you emotionally eat? Why do you then starve yourself eating rabbit food and 1,000 calories a day only to come home at 8 o'clock at night and just go, fuck it? There's a bit of pizza, there's a chocolate bar, there's a tub of ice cream. I mean, come on, let's talk facts. You alone are your own problem and 
it's not nice to hear it, but we've got to recognise that that's it. So we have to acknowledge that one fact. The problem is you. It's not me. It's not the other trainer. It's not the gym. It's not the pill or the potion or the shake that you took. The problem is actually you. And until we work on where you are today, there's no freaking way in the world it's, we can talk about what the future you is going to be like or the future you is going to do. So let's accept the fact that we've got to start doing that. Okay, so step number one in this process is simple. I've got a couple of questions that I need to ask you and I want your answers. You need to write them down. Don't talk about it. Don't think about it. Fucking well, grab a bit of pen and paper and sit down and write down the answers to the following questions. So question one, how's your food? I'm not going to say nutrition, just plain old meat and three veg food. Are you a paleo person? Are you a vegan person? Are you an intermittent fasting person? Are you a I don't give a fuck, I eat what I want person? Where are you today and what do you do with your food? So with your training, your workouts, your what we call your daily needs, if you're not exercising, what are you doing? Do you walk? Do you walk the dogs? Do you play with the kids? What are you currently doing today? Is it once a week? Is it twice a week? I'm planning for three, but fuck it, it ends up being two, but shit, I get too busy, then it's one. Man, suddenly it's none. Where's your training at? All right, where's your sleep at? Do you sleep well? How many hours a day do you get? What time do you go to bed? What time do you wake up? When you sleep, is it solid? Do you have a Fitbit? Do you check your sleep? Do you go into REM, rapid eye movement? Do you go into any deep sleep? What's the quality like? When you wake up, are you still shagged? Do you wake up, bang, get out of bed, put my clothes on, off for a new day? Where's your sleep at? All right. Today, today, not yesterday, not maybe tomorrow. Where's your head at? Eh, meh, whatever, just another day, same shit, different day. I'm angry, I got pissed off, something happened at work, kids didn't do this. I walked into the toilet and some bastard didn't put the toilet roll back on the holder. Where is your head at today? Do you get angry easy? Do you don't give a shit? Are you at the 20% of my ability, not the 80% of my ability? Where's your head at? And then the last one I want to ask you is, where's your support? Do you need support? Do you need to feel loved? Do you need someone to tell you how good you are? Or are you a bit like, fuck it. I don't need anyone else's validation. I got me. Or is that actually a front? And the reality is you do. Well, I've been all through this. So what's your support structure like? Where's your partner at? Where's your kids at? Your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your sister, your brother, your dog, your lover. Where is your support structure at? And if you make a change tomorrow, which one of those people is going to go, bang, I'm in with you? Versus which ones do you know will make a change and run a fucking mile in the other direction? So write those down. There are the couple of questions. It's the facts. I am not going to give you any solutions. I'm not going to give you any, you must do this. You can try that. And then after this week, you come back and go, hey, it's just another fucking challenge. We ain't going to work that way. We're going to work differently. So if you're interested in that, I simply want you to write those answers down. At the bottom of this page, there's a little green button and it says, Click it, send it, it's my email address. You'll send that to me. I'm then gonna to start to then send you access to the challenge over the next seven days. So we'll talk about the facts. We're gonna delve into some of the stuff like pain. How the hell do you feel? And please don't take me the wrong way. I've been there, all right? I'm not some bullshit 22 year old trainer who's just come out of the fitness institute has got no life experience, there's no nothing, hasn't been overweight, hasn't got sick, and hasn't had gravity hit them, 
doesn't have a mortgage, no kids, no family. No, I'm a 50 year old guy, two kids, two dogs, a mortgage. Been there, done that, two strokes later, pulled my ass up, got a smack in the face, and got back into it. And yes, I'm as blunt as a cut snake, and I don't give a shit. But if you want to know how to get out of the rut and do it, then I'll be there with you. I've been there before, I've come back again twice. So my lessons are here, I'm here to share them. If I can help you, love to do so. Homework is there, bottom of the page, click. I'll send you the next couple of days, one a day, and let's see whether or not you actually get something out of this challenge before we even start talking about what I can do to help you. Again, my name is Don McStraw. I'm a conditioning and I'm a performance coach and I run the McStraw Method. And the program that we run here is called the Daily 2%.